Hello, my name is Lori Winters. I'm the Executive Director of the Museum of Wisconsin Art. Thank you for joining us today. We are standing in the middle of one of our galleries at the museum. This gallery is dedicated to art from the mid-century, mid-20th century. So about 75 years ago. And I'm pleased to be able to tell you today about one of my favorite paintings in the museum. It's a painting by John Stuart Curry. We're standing in front of it. And it was painted in 1941. So it was just, you know, one year before uh, the beginning of the Second World War. So it was a long time ago. And the landscape in the United States and in the Midwest and in Wisconsin looked a lot different than it does today. Um, rolling hills um, covered with farms, red barns, um, scenes of healthy cattle and cows in the distance. This was very typical of Wisconsin 75 years ago. And John Stuart Curry was an artist who celebrated that uniqueness of Wisconsin. And then I'd like to just start by talking about the painting and just sort of showing you how it sort of all works. As you can see, it's really big. So it must have been in a place of importance, and it was. But let's look at the subject matter first. First, we know it's a landscape. A beautiful red barn here in the foreground. Um, cows or cattle grazing. Um, stacks of um, corn that's been harvested and bound together, which will provide fodder for the animals in the coming winter. And we know it's a fall scene. We can tell that by the foliage, the beautiful red leaves and golden color, and just the overall golden tone of the setting. A beautiful lake, plenty of water. That's an important thing in the distance. The rolling hills, um, the clouds, which are large and um, really kind of dominate the scene. Um, cast a shadow on the distant shoreline. Um, one of my favorite things in the painting is this little rabbit down here in the corner just looking out looking at the scene just as you are just as you're looking at this beautiful landscape so is the rabbit admiring it and uh, admiring the bounty and the healthiness of the farms so you can tell right away that john stuart curry was trying to capture a moment of bounty and abundance the beautiful autumn, the harvest has been successful, the cows are grazing. This is a scene of Wisconsin life at a very important moment as it was sort of coming into its own. And what I mean by that is uh, Wisconsin uh, in the 1930s had suffered a lot during the Great Depression. The farming and agriculture was more important than ever. Uh, even as important as it is today in the state. And there was an effort to promote agriculture and good farming practices. And so John Stuart Curry, who was originally from Kansas, was actually hired by the University of Wisconsin in Madison, not by the art department, but by the Department of Agriculture to teach farming practices. And so when we talked about the bounty and the healthiness, that was part of his subject matter. He was asked to portray, and really to depict, good farming practices in Wisconsin. So it was a form of education. So a form of education for everyone who would see the painting. And so knowing that, it makes even more sense where the painting was. It was actually commissioned for a bank in the heart of downtown Madison, Wisconsin, and it was one of three large paintings that John Stuart Curry painted for this bank. And you might be thinking, well, why a bank? Well, all the farmers uh, who'd had a good season, who had made money during the fall harvest, would take their money to the bank. And so they would see it when they would go monthly or every other month uh, to the bank. And so it was a way of educating everyone, to sort of the masses, everyone who lived in Wisconsin, about the pride in Wisconsin landscape, the pride in farming, and especially pride in good farming practices. So uh, the painting has an interesting history, um, and it's even more interesting than you might 
bank in that regard. Because not only was this in a bank, but this was generally for over a decade the kind of work that he did. And he wasn't alone uh, in that effort. Um, another artist by the name of Grant Wood from Iowa uh, and Thomas Hart Benton from Missouri. So Missouri, Iowa, Wisconsin, these three great artists working each in their own state, um, painted the landscape. They painted the everyday events that happened in their state, where they lived, whether it was the farm or children at school, funerals, tornadoes, baptisms. The subject of everyday life became the subject of their artwork. And it became very clear, thanks to these three artists, who were well aware of each other's work, they were good friends, they were promoting what became known as the regional identity, the common life of people who lived in the Midwest. Um, this is very important because the word regionalism, as we often use it today, was actually first used in conjunction with the regionalist paintings of those three artists. So great regionalist painters, and we know that today, that we often talk in the United States about kind of regional identity for different parts of the United States. So there's the East Coast and the Midwest and the South and the Southeast and California and the Pacific Coast. And the artists who work in those areas tend to work in um, a, a style and in a subject matter that is somewhat moralistic, consist more or less stylistically consistent. And it has become known as a kind of regionalism. And in fact, the very concept of regionalism is especially important to us as an institution because the Museum of Wisconsin Art is dedicated entirely to the regional art of Wisconsin. So John Stuart Curry, Thomas Hart Benton, and Grant Woods, I'm sure had no idea working in the 1930s and 40s that what they were doing, painting the things around them, would be the catalyst for an entire museum dedicated to regional art. And I don't think they had any idea at the time that their work would become so important that today uh, it would be collected by museums around the world and that it would sell not for a few hundred dollars, but for hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars. So what they started in a very small way in Wisconsin, in Missouri, uh, in Iowa, has today in the art world become something that is extremely important. So I hope you will come and enjoy the painting as much as I do, because although the landscape is beautiful and it's peaceful, it really has content and a message that describes an entire generation and an era of art. Thank you.